Hey, this is Patrick with iPad Insight doing a quick little trial run of screencasting today. I'm actually uh, mirroring my iPad 2 screen across to my MacBook Pro and capturing it with a very nice new app, uh, not new app, I'm sorry, a very nice updated app called Air Server, which has just added this AirPlay mirroring to the Mac functionality. I thought I'd give it a quick trial run today with the idea being that uh, if it works for me and if readers enjoy it, then I'll use this for occasional app reviews or demos of apps, uh, sharing of iPad tips and so forth. So today, just for the purpose of a quick trial run, I will do a very, very miniature quick look at a new app for the iPad. This is The Lion King, based on the hugely popular movie and released by Disney Publishing in an iPad version just a couple weeks ago. I'm going to fire it up now. Here's a splash screen for it from Disney Digital Books. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And, uh, you can see the audio transfers pretty nicely across to the MacBook Pro from the iPad as well. Uh, the app itself, um, as you'd expect from Disney Publishing, uh, is very nicely done. It's very faithful to the original movie. So if your kids know the story, this is going to be familiar, comfortable ground to them. Uh, the animations are wonderful. There's plenty of interactive elements throughout the storybook on nearly every page, which, again, keeps your kids engaged and having fun with it. The voiceovers are professional and very funny as well. You've got this nice little pop-up scene slider where you can scroll through thumbnails and pick a favorite scene if you like. Anyway, this was not intended to be a proper demo or review of The Lion King. It's more a demo of just using this screencasting tool and air server and mirroring the iPad across to the MacBook. So um, I hope you enjoyed this little quick trial run. By the way, The Lion King, the full name is The Lion King Timon's Tale. It's $4.99 in the iPad App Store right now, and I definitely recommend it if you or your kids are uh, Lion King fans. And that's it for now. And like I say, I'll look to use this screencasting a little more now for app demos and sharing cool iPad tips. I hope you're all having a great weekend.